dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Yeah. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowl yeah. and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, yeah. and under His wings shall thy trust. Yeah. His truth shall be like shield and a buckler. Yeah. So if anybody's going through anything on today, and if anybody need a shield or a buckler, Name is God. Amen. I read you Psalms 91, 1 through 4. You know what? Yeah, 1 through 4. May God have a blessing on the word. Amen. Father God, we just come thanking you, Father God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. Father God, we thank you for the Sunday school. We thank you for the under shepherd. Right now, Father God, we ask that you hide us under your wings. And Father God, we ask that you just come in and take a seat. Father God said from the front to the back, from the back to the pulpit. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. God, the greatest praise uh -huh. and the greatest praise. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. It's a beautiful day outside. Our, our responsive yeah. reading. Responsive reading today is taken from uh, Psalm 46. Amen. If you need a Bible, let uh, let our usher know and she will get it for you. Amen. Just raise your hand, she'll bring you a Bible. But Psalm 46. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. When you got it, say, I got it. Got, got it. it. Got it. Anybody still looking? Still looking. Still looking. I got a couple of still looking. Amen. 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 Say something when you got it. Got it. I heard one got it. Anybody else? Got it going once. Got another got it. Anybody else? Uh, okay. Amen. Let's, let's read. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, Throw the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raves, the kingdom were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What is the nation you have made in the earth? He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. Huh? I will be exalted among the heavens. I will be exalted in the earth. And together, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come on, son. Amen. 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 Amen.
Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah.
finding it, let's share in our scripture verse together. Trust, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thy own understanding. And all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. We promise, God's promise is that if we rely on him, he will direct our path. Yes, amen. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 8 says, And all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate. And they spake unto Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, uh -huh. which the Lord had commanded to Israel. And Ezra the priest brought the law before the congregation, both of men and women, and all that could hear with understanding, uh -huh. upon the first day of the seventh month. And he read therein before the street that was before the water gate uh -huh. from the morning until midday before the men and women and those that could understand. And the ears of all the people were attentive uh -huh. unto the book of the law. Yes, sir. And Ezra the scribe stood upon the pulpit of wood which they had made for the, for the purpose and beside him stood Mathaniah, uh -huh. and Shema, and Ananiah, uh -huh. and Uriah, uh -huh. and Hilkiah, and Messiah, uh -huh. on his right hand, and on his left, Padadiah, uh -huh. and Mishael, and Mechael, and Hashum, uh -huh. and Hash Hashbadana, and Zechariah, and Michelin. Uh -huh. And Ezra opened the book mm -hmm. open, yes. in the sight of all the people, for he was above the people. Uh -huh. And when he opened it, all the people stood up. Amen, amen. And Ezra blessed the Lord, uh -huh. the great God. Yes, yes. And all the people answered, Amen, amen. 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 With lifting up their hands and their bowed their, their heads, and they worshiped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Uh -huh. And Jeshua and Benaiah and Sherebiah and Jemin and Akub, and Shabbatiah, and Hadijah, and Maniah, and Kalita, and Azara, and Jezebad, and Hanan, and Paniah, and the Levites caused the people to understand the law. Uh -huh. And the people stood in their place. Mm -hmm. So they read the book of the law of yes. God distinctly and gave the sense, and caused them to understand the reading. And Nehemiah, which was a ter which is the Tereshitha, Tereshitha, and Ezra, the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Mourn not, nor weep. Uh -huh. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send the portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. Uh -huh. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry for the oh, joy the of the Lord. Lord. Uh -huh. your strength. Right, stop right there. We uh -huh. can go home. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Uh -huh. yes, Amen. Yes. I've read for you Nehemiah Amen. chapter 8 that you have heard the word of God. Nehemiah chapter 8, 1 through 10. And uh, a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, Minister Rogers shared uh, with us from a question, you may know the word, but do you know the word? Mm -hmm. uh, in that preaching, we were challenged not just to know the words of Jesus, mm -hmm. but uh, Jesus and God, but to know the living word of God. Yes. Amen. Amen is a Hebrew word that is usually transliterated or understood, sometimes translated as so it is, mm -hmm. a word found in all languages. Every language that we have has a so it is. Uh, or its meaning is so be it, so it is, or steadfast. Uh -huh. It's an expression of finality, uh -huh. though it sometimes comes at the beginning of a sentence. Uh -huh. You hear some preachers who say amen before they start saying what they're saying, and they'll end it with an amen. So. Uh -huh. Amen. amen, lights, and amen, amen. everybody else, amen. 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 It, it, it occurs in John's writing, the gospel writer, John, 
in, in more than any of the other writings or the gospel writers uh, because our Lord uses it and uses amen 99 times. Nine is the number of finality or yes. ending. Yes. Jeremichia is of amen is like 99. There's a term. Mm -hmm. And in the Old Testament scripture, the solemn response of Israel to the curses on the lawbreakers at Mount Ebal, the ready response of Israel to worship the Lord Jehovah uh -huh. at the return of the ark, the joyful response of returning exile at the reading of the law, the fitting of the response of the psalmist David to the praise of Jehovah God, the cheerful response of Jeremiah to God's promise to overthrow the oppressor and deliver his people from captivity. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, when you're going through something and you're not sure how to get through it, uh -huh. you need to have a amen. 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 So be it. So it is. Yeah. God still can bless and I'm grateful. Uh -huh. In the Gospel of St. John, there are also 25 double amens, uh -huh. which are translated Verily, verily, you'll hear Jesus say, verily, verily, I say unto you. He's, yeah. he's actually saying, amen, amen, I say unto you. Yes, uh, and the first is in John 1 and 51, and the last is in John 21 and 8. Mm -hmm. The amens in John's writing may be classified as the amens of gracious affirmation. Mm -hmm. Fifty times in his gospel he says that. Fifty times the amen uh, the amen of a grateful adoration is found in Revelation chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. The amen of a glorious annunciation, meaning something great is happening, is found in Revelation chapter 3, verse 14. Amen. And the glad anticipation amen is found in uh, Revelation 22 and 20. The book of the Revelation, the book of Revelation ends with amen. 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 So from Genesis at the beginning of the word when God introduces us with in the beginning was the word. That's in John. Amen. See y'all somewhere else. In the beginning God was God created. In John is in the beginning was the word. Hey, y'all amen. 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 I mean, amen saints. Amen. <laughs> So, I see in today in this text, though, that the priest called Ezra, who has his own book, calls a solemn assembly of the people. Mm -hmm. It is important to note that Ezra, as the Bible records, didn't preach. Mm -hmm. If you look at what, what we just read, he didn't preach. He read the book of the law. Yeah. 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 He read the book of the law before the people and their response to the word of God when it was about to be read. Ezra took the book and opened it. Oh, amen, amen. And the people at that time had now understood or come to understand that they had been living in sin and living in a bad situation and they were marrying people that were outside of their race that, as Moses had commanded them in the word of God not to do. So they were marrying people that they shouldn't have been marrying. They were going against the, the word of God. And, and now Ezra, as the people have asked him to do, have said, we want you to read the word to us. Tell us what God's word says. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. So they bring the book to Ezra. Mm -hmm. The book of the law of God. And Ezra is standing up high before right. the people. Mm. He's standing up high because all of the children of Israel had gathered into the temple area, right. into, the, into the, the common area where they, they could hear the word of God go forth. Yeah. And, there, and there was great anticipation because folk had gathered. They knew that he was about to tell them right. what thus saith the Lord yeah. to the people. And and, and they wanted to know, what is God's word say? We have, we have fallen so far astray and away from what God desires of us. Okay. What is it that God is trying to tell us today? I want to know. I want to know. 
I want to know what God is trying to tell me yeah. because I, I came to get a word from the Lord. Yes, right. It's important. It's important to my yeah. life. It's important to my way of living uh -huh. that I know what God has commanded me to do yeah. and how God wants me to live. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. People stood before him. Mm -hmm. Or actually, they must have been seated. Mm -hmm. Seated. And they must have been like, just like maybe sitting on the ground. I don't think they brought their lawn chairs to, to the party. I don't, I don't think so. I, I think they were like sitting on the ground waiting for Ezra to arrive and for the, the book of God, the, the, the word of God to come, the law of God to come. And they were just chilling until he got there. But they were waiting for something good to happen. But they were, they were on the ground and they just chilling. But when Ezra arrived, Stood up above the people. When he opened the book, mm -hmm. the response of the people yeah. was everybody stood to their feet. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. People wonder sometimes why in our church do I insist on folks standing for the reading of the word. Oh, yes, right. yes, yes. It isn't because I should need to tell you <laughs> to stand. It ought to be out of the love of God and out of the love of His Word. That you are hearing God speak through His Word and it moves you or so moves you that you want to hear what God is saying. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I remind you, this, 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 this text is, is from the book of Nehemiah. Ezra has his own book. But it is recorded in Nehemiah what happened. Yes. Uh, this is the second return of the people. Now, the third return of the people uh, from their exile. Mm -hmm. And if you all have been with us as we have been studying and reading the word uh, in Kings and, and, and when we were reading about Ezekiel and some of the prophets, you remember that they, Israel had been taken into captivity because yeah. of their sin. Yes. They had been taken into captivity because they had been doing wrong by yeah. God. Mm -hmm. And God said, I, I, I have a covenant with you, but, right. but, I'm, but you're violating your part of the covenant. And I, in order for me to get you straight, I'm going to take you out of your homeland and put you somewhere else. Right. And then okay. I'll bring you back yeah. later. Yes. Yeah. That's what Nehemiah is there right. for. Nehemiah is now building the wall, but there have been two returns already of, of people who have been exiled, but they're there and they, they seem to have a lack of hope about what the future brings, even though they have now come back to a deteriorated Jerusalem. They've come back to a deteriorated temple area, and, and, and they're trying to figure out what do we do. Yeah. And somebody says... We ought to hear what God's word says. Yes, 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 yes Lord. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. so they, they bring the book. Mm. And when Ezra opens the book, okay. if you read Revelation, you, you, you kind of have a sense of this because yeah. in Revelation, Jesus is going to open the yeah. book. Yeah. They look all over heaven, oh, all over yeah. glory for a book that can be opened. And yeah. Then nobody can nobody can open the book right. but the slain lamb of yeah. God. Yeah. They yeah. looked around. John said, I looked and I looked and then I looked again. Uh -huh. And when he took his second look, he saw the blood stained Jesus yeah. coming to open the book. Uh -huh. But here in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. Ezra opens the book. Of the Lord. Okay. Yeah. And the people are so excited, everybody, because God is about to speak. Everybody stands to their feet. The, the, the lame, the sick, the, the, the well, everybody who had feet and could stand to their feet. No matter how they, whether they were having back pain, other illnesses, they stood to their feet because this was God's word and God was about to speak. And if you want a healing, you sometimes have to go beyond yeah, yeah. what your pain is, what your situation is, yeah. to trust God in yes. it. Yeah. Amen, I, amen. I, I know y'all can't hear me right yeah. now. Amen. Because amen. I'm excited about his word. I'm excited uh -huh. about what the people's response to his word was. And just the fact that they opened, he opened the book. Yeah. Yes. And folks stood to their feet. Yeah. I, I could just 
see it now. I'm just thinking about yeah. it. They all down on the ground and everything, and then they, he opens that book. All like, right. Yeah, come yeah, on. Amen, amen. Yeah. Yeah. And we're talking about thousands of folk who uh -huh. were yeah. Not a few hundred, not a few you know, tens or whatever, but thousands of people just rise to their feet because God is about to speak. Yeah. 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 If you don't come to worship waiting for God to speak, amen, right. amen. If you don't, I mean, no matter what we going through, no matter yeah. what my week has been yeah. like, yeah. I want a word yeah. from the Lord yeah. that will lift me and take me. don't know nothing because God can speak through it anyway. Thank you again for just what you've 
done. You, you could have taken us all the way out. But by your word, you kept us. I, I hear Ezra praying and blessing the Lord and telling the people as they hear him praising God that we're grateful that you've done so much even for when we didn't walk with you. I hear Ezra. Thank you, Lord. But then he begins to read the word as others are there to explain it. Who didn't understand? Mm -hmm. That's important to understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, he, he could read what Moses had written. Mm -hmm. He could read the word that God had given Moses that that was written in the book of the law. But mm -hmm. there, there were folks sitting there going, uh, "What he say? What he say? Mm -hmm. uh, wait, what does that mean?" Mm -hmm. It's like people who've been in church for a long time. There's some people that's been in church for a long time still don't know the word of God. Y'all can't hear it. And then they're, they're new to the Word of God, and, and they're new, and they, they're, they're new, and they, they don't necessarily understand all that. If we're reading from the King James, what the, this thou and begats and all that other stuff really mean, Amen. and so they need somebody to explain it for them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The Ethiopian eunuch uh, meets, meets a deacon who he then, yeah. the deacon has to explain the Word to him, and then yeah. he comes uh -huh. out of that. And he, and he asked the question, yeah, yeah. What, with the lamb being led to slaughter, who is that? And he tells him it's Jesus. Yeah. And then oh, he says, oh. well, what hindered me from oh, being baptized? Oh, the, the word can change you. Yeah, yeah. And, you yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so the word is being read. Yeah. But there are people in the, in the community, other scribes, other people who knew the word. Uh -huh. And they start to explain, this is what it means. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. This is what it means. Yeah. And then the people come to understand the word of God that mm -hmm. has been explained to them and been read to them on that day. Yes. And, and Ezra, Ezra tells them that, you know what, this is a day that is holy unto God. So it sort of tells me something that I think is instructive here. We often come to worship. With our heads bowed down, yeah. mm -hmm, feeling some kind of way, yeah. sick, tired, that's if we decide to come when we're sick and tired, all right, all right. Or, or not feeling well, <laughs> or somebody, you know, with our kids, often this, the parents made me come, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so we come with an attitude. Y'all yeah. yeah. think don't nobody yeah. see it, yeah. but we can tell. Yeah. You see right. it, Berlin? Uh -huh. You see it when people folk come in with an attitude or they leave them with an attitude. Okay. Yeah. Pastor said X, Y, and Z. Yeah. That made yeah. me mad. So uh -huh. now I, don't, I ain't, I, I'm not, okay. you know what, that's on you. Okay. All I'm trying to do is just tell you what it said. Yeah. But, but the point in this is that he tells them don't mourn yeah. and yeah. don't weep. Okay. Because this day is holy.
my strength in my wife or my family. I got to find my joy and that strength in God. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 He didn't have to coach them. 
Right. They knew when the word of truth, and that is why amen is there. Uh -huh. When the word of truth goes forth, when yeah. there is a truth that matches where you are, mm -hmm. when the Holy Spirit is telling you, oh, just walk down your alley, amen. Yeah. amen. Yeah. He, he just touched where I was at, amen. But I'd rather God step on my toes than God take me out. Yeah. So, amen, Lord. Yeah. I heard you. Yeah. Amen, Lord. I understand that you, yeah. you gave me one more opportunity, yeah. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You gave me another chance to try to get it right. Thank you. Yeah. Amen, yeah. Lord. Yeah. I, 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 amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. amen. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so, amen. Yeah. And when, when, a, when a preacher is preaching and the truth is going out, there ought to be companies yeah. of amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen is all over the place. Yeah. So that people can go, yep, yeah, you know what? Yep, yeah, he just said something to me. Yeah. Now, you, you might do them quiet amens because you don't want nobody to know when I said hey, you should be doing them drugs. Uh, you may not want nobody to know that I'm walking down your avenue. Or you shouldn't be doing that alcohol. You don't want nobody to know you're walking in the Your amen might be a little quieter. Like, <laughs> All right, Lord, I heard you. I get it. I understand. Yeah. You're telling me I need to give me another chance to get it right. Yeah. I made it home yesterday because even though I had a little tip of this, a little tip of that, now I made it home safely. You gave me another chance. I didn't stop doing what I was doing. But lastly, lastly, this 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 is this is the wrap up right here. This is what I loved about what Ezra said. Mm. And it's that the joy of the word of God, it brings our strength. Yes. Nehemiah yes, 8.10 said, then he said unto them, go your way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go your way. Eat the fat and drink the sweet. All right. All right. All right. And send the portions unto them for the whom nothing is prepared. All right. For this day is holy unto our God, unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your yeah. 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 Let, me, let me take a, a quick dive into what Ezra tells them. He tells them to go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So he's saying, God wants you all to be prosperous. Yeah. So he's giving you something to work with. Yeah. You have some things at your home that you can go eat. Oh, you praise God for that. Somebody should be saying that man right there. Right. I, can, I can go walk into my refrigerator and I can choose what I want to eat. Anybody else got that at home? Oh, God, yeah, but they want it. Right? I, 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 got, I got gas in my car. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me stop. I, I, got, I got a car. Somebody didn't get clothed with a 
right mind. Somebody lost their mind yesterday and it wasn't you. Thank you, Jesus. And it might be a little bit of time. It may, it may hurt a little bit. But the more I listen to the word, the more I understand the word, the more I appreciate what God is doing through the word, the more I can say, Amen. Oh, 
God has spoken. Yeah. 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 Yeah.